Hello, I'm Tim. I'm one of the co-founders of an arts and mental health charity called Hospital Rooms. Um, we do lots of things in inpatient mental health units, all to do with art. And one of the things we do is we lead workshops with mental health service users. Um, for obvious reasons, we can't be in the units right now. So we're putting together lots of art workshop ideas, things we've done in the past that we're going to put online. Um, lots of how-tos, step-by-step guides. And we're also going to do some videos too. Um, these are all free, so they're going to be accessible by mental health workers, um, service users, but also if you're stuck at home, um, you can try them yourselves. Um, so one of, the, one of the things that we've done before is called trainer painting workshop. Um, so we're going to try that out. It's something we've done a couple of times and it's been really popular. So I've got all the things we need to do that with in front of me here. I've got a trainer, so um, this is a new one. It's one of the, the, the leftover ones, a really tiny size three. Um, but you could do this with your old trainers. You could do it with um, ones that are really scuffed up, you thought you might throw away, but actually you can, you can give them, bring new life into them. Um, I've put a bit of cardboard down to protect the table. You could do this with some bin bags or, um, or some newspaper. I've got a, a tear off pallet pad, uh, pad here, uh, but you could use uh, cutting up a Tesco curry bag or some plastic or you know anything or a Tupperware lid, something like that. This is what we're going to put our paint on. I've got a yogurt pot with some water in. I've got a bit of masking tape. If you don't have masking tape, you don't need it. It's fine. It's just an extra. And then I've got some acrylic paints, just some ones that I've got left over in the house. So we're going to start with um, a plain trainer or one that's not been painted on we're going to finish up with something that's going to look pretty jazzy like this um, the other thing you could use is something called fabric medium you can buy it online and it's something you can mix one to one with acrylic paint and it makes the paint a bit flow a bit easier a bit easier to apply and it's really flexible uh, if you don't want to buy that or you don't have it most people obviously aren't going to have some in the house just acrylic paint is fine so to start with, one thing that you might want to do is if you want to keep the trainers really neat, is if you take some masking tape and you can cover all uh, the soles like this to protect them from paint so they stay nice and white. And you could also do that with the, the trim around here. Uh, I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to be really careful, but it's something you might want to do. So I'm going to chuck that bit of masking tape away. And then you want to take out the laces. So if you haven't put laces back in before, it might be a good idea to, to remember the way that they're, they're applied. But it means that if we take these out, these are going to stay nice and, um, nice and clean. Um, at the end of this, you might want to get some, some more colourful laces, but when you put them back in, they're going to look really good. So when we apply acrylic, what you want to do is um, use quite a small amount of it, just sort of little bits at a time, you could always add more. Acrylic's really good because it's, it repels water, uh, it, it's, um, it's flexible as well, and it's a really good adhesive. You know, acrylic's just two things, usually it's, it's a kind of acrylic copolar emulsion, which is almost like the glue that holds all this kind of colour and pigment there. But it's really good for painting on things like trainers because it's flexible, it's not going to crack. So I'm going to choose a colour, so I'm going to take maybe a bit of blue, I'm going to mix it with some white because I don't want it to be too dark, so I'm going to squeeze out a bit like that, and then I'm going to add a bit of white to it. And this is where if you had some fabric medium, or if you wanted to try using fabric medium, you'd add about the same amount again, and you'd mix the two together. So I'm going to mix those two together like this, and the white's going to tint that blue, so that's going to make that white, that blue a little bit softer, a little bit more pastel. So I'm going to take that with my brush. I'm going to start painting directly onto the shoes. And I've used a canvas shoe, so in a way it's almost exactly the same as doing an acrylic on canvas painting. And I'm going to leave the trim white, so I'm just going to carefully paint around there. If you've masked off, you could be a little bit messier. Um, but I'm going to start filling in the shapes in different colours around that shoe.
And now that I've finished that first blue, I'm moving on to another colour. So I'm doing a magenta around the side here. And if you want to wash your brush in between colours, you just have to dip it in the water, um, acrylics or water-based paint, so it's going to come off really easily. I've finished painting all the sides of the trainer now. Um, this will probably take about half an hour to dry. Before we start painting on top, I'm gonna just go for it though. So I'll wash my brush and dry it off. And I'm gonna choose a lighter color to go on top of this. Um, so I might go for a white. So I'm gonna squeeze a bit of white out onto my palette, on my Make Do palette. And I'm just going to use the brush to add some, some shapes. So I could do some stripes down the back here. And I'll do different colours that are contrasting on the top of each of these different shapes on the trainers. So I'll do that there, but when I come to the front, I might use the masking tape, if you've got some, to do some more angular triangles. So I'm going to use the masking tape and I'm going to put, um, place it, or stick it down onto the trainer like this. That blue hopefully is dry enough that it's not going to pull off the paint. And then maybe I'll choose, uh, what should I choose? I'm going to go for a yellow here maybe and I'm going to paint that colour onto that masking tape. If you don't have masking tape, you could just carry on with the shapes, freehand shapes. But I'm just going to give this a go. So I'm going to paint onto the masking tape like that. And then I'm going to remove the masking tape straight away. I'm going to get a really nice sharp triangular shape. And I'm going to do that a few times. Now that I've got those yellow triangles on the front there, I'm going to take a darker blue and start doing some more freehand shapes on the sides. And then finally I've mixed some red and white to make a light pink and I'm going to just add some little dash shapes side here. I now have very colourful trainer uh, without the laces. So when that's dry, uh, probably best to wait till it's dry, I'm going to relace these. And I think I know how to relace trainers. We'll see if I do this badly or not. So we have your brand new painted trainer and I'm going to put it with the other one that I made earlier. Uh, you'll see that I did them asymmetrical, um, but I think that makes them look a bit more funky. Um, so, you know, do this and you'll be the envy of all your friends.
We're going to be doing lots more of these workshops, so please have a look at our website, uh, which is www.hospital-rooms.com, or follow us on social media. Um, we're going to be releasing lots of these workshops online over the coming weeks. Um, thanks very much for watching.